On today's episode of The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly, we're looking at the Nick Collection 5. I want to show you a hidden gem found in Nick Color Effects Pro 5 and Nick Silver Effects Pro 3, and that hidden gem is Clearview. You don't want to miss this one. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Today, I do want to show you a hidden gem found in both Color Effects Pro 5 and Nick Silver Effects Pro 3, and that is Clearview. Now, I have three different examples for you today, actually, four. I'm going to show you three examples using this with Color Effects Pro 5, and one example showing you how to use it with Nick Silver Effects Pro 3. But first off, what is DxO Clearview technology? This is something special. It cuts through haze, mist, and smog with one simple step. And it's similar to like a dehazing filter, and what I'm going to do is compare it to the dehaze filter found in the Camera Raw filter, and let's find out which one is really better, the dehaze filter in Photoshop or Clearview. We're going to start out with this foggy wood scene. Now what I've done is I've duplicated the background layer twice. I've called the first layer ACR for Adobe Camera Raw Filter, Dehaze, and the second one, Nick Clearview, and I made them both into smart objects. To turn a layer into a smart object, all you have to do is right-click on the layer, and you're going to find Convert to Smart Object here. And whenever you do that, when you apply a filter to that layer, it becomes a smart filter where you can go back and make some readjustments. By the way, I'm working with stock images today. I ran them into Topaz Photo AI and used Enhanced Detail on them as well as denoising and sharpening if needed. And the enhanced detail really helps when you have a low res image. It kind of gets rid of a lot of the JPEG artifacts. We'll start out with the Adobe Camera Raw filter. So I'm on this layer right here. I'm just going to come up here to filter and click on Camera Raw filter. And you're gonna find the dehaze filter inside of the basic group. If the group's not open, just give it a click and open up the group and we'll find it right here. So let's go ahead and turn up the dehazing. Now, if you move it to the left, you'll add more haze. If you move it to the right of center, you'll start to dehaze it somewhat. I don't want to totally dehaze it. I want to keep some of that fog in there. So I'm going to drag it over to right about here, and we're going to click OK. Now we could take a look. Here is the before, and here's the after, and it definitely has dehazed the image, and it's helped it out. But let's compare that now to Nick Clearview. So let's come up to the Nick Clear View layer and we're gonna turn it on. And now we can see the fog again. And now I have the Nick Selective tool out here. To get to the Nick Selective tool, just come up to File, come to Automate, and you're gonna find it inside of here, Nick Selective Tool 2. Click on that and it'll bring it out to your desktop. And so we're gonna launch Color Effects Pro 5, which is right here. So I'm just gonna click on it. And here we are inside of Color Effects Pro 5. Now, the only thing I'm going to use in here is Clear View, and it's simple to use one slider. So, right now the grain's turned on. There's no grain applied to it. I can leave this checked on or off. It doesn't really matter. But now let's turn up this Clear View and see the difference. We're going to start to move it to the right. Okay, so I'm going to move it up a good bit here, maybe just somewhere around there. I don't want to totally get rid of all the fog. In fact, if I go the whole way to the right, we're still going to see fog in there. I'm going to be pretty aggressive here, but let's go to maybe around like uh, right around there, 85%. Now I'll uncheck this clear view checkbox and now we can see there's the before, check it back on and there's the after. Now I'll just click apply. Now let's check our results. Let me shut both of these dehazing layers off. So here's the original image. Here is the Adobe Camera Raw Filters Dehaze. And it looks pretty good, but now let's compare it to Nick Clearview. I'm gonna turn it on now. But look at all the detail in here. I'll tell you what, it has done a much better job. Again, here is ACR, kind of muddy looking. It kind of affects the color somewhat, but now let's take a look at Clearview. What a difference. I'll tell you what, I'm much happier with the clear view result. Hey, let me know in the comment section below which one you think is better. Now, just for the heck of it, let's go back into the camera raw filter. I'm just going to double click the camera raw filter here and let's play with the dehazing in here. Let's even take it up further. But see how muddy it gets? No matter where I go here, it's not going to look as good as clear view. Now, one thing Clearview doesn't do, you can't go to the left to center to make things more hazier, 
But to me, that's not a real big deal. They have other filters inside of Color Effects Pro 5 to do those hazy kind of looks. But let's even drag it up a little bit more, get it closer to where it was with the Clearview filter, and let's click OK. Now again, let's take a look. Right now we're seeing the clear view result. Let me shut this off and now you're going to see the Adobe Camera Raw dehaze filter. It's super muddy, but I think there's really no comparison. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. Now let's move on to our next image, this foggy boat scene. Let me go ahead and turn on this ACR layer here. And we're going to come up to filter and Adobe Camera Raw filter. And now let's apply some dehaze here. So let's start to drag this to the right. And wow, as I really start to go the whole way to the right, you see how it really breaks apart. Now, bear in mind, it is a JPEG image, but it really tears apart. So I'm going to take it to right about here. I know it doesn't look good, but we're going to compare it to see what Clearview can do. So let's click OK. And now let's click on the Nick Clearview layer and turn this on. And now we're going to launch Color Effects Pro 5 by clicking this. And we'll see what we can get. Now, once you open up Color Effects Pro 5, you're always going to find Clearview right up here at the top. And don't forget about it. And Grain is right under it. And even though Grain is checked on, it says Original here in the drop down. If you click the drop down, you can get different types of grains on here. But as long as it's an original, you're not going to see any grain. So you can leave that checked on. Now, all your other 55 filters live over on the left side. But Clearview is right here. Now, let's start to drag this intensity to the right. Remember what happened in Adobe Camera Raw Filter? Let's move this to the right, and let's take it the whole way to the right. And as you can see, the image does not break apart. It looks fantastic. Here is the before, and here is the after. So that's up full. I'm just going to drag it to the left just a little wee bit to right around here. Here is the before, and here's the after. But that's pretty amazing, wouldn't you say? I'm going to go ahead and click Apply, and that will send us back into Photoshop. Now, here we are in Photoshop. Now let's compare. Here's without any dehazing. Here is Adobe Camera Raw. And even the water and everything, nothing looks good. It really doesn't. I'm going to shut. Well, I can leave this on and just turn this on because this is, this is at full 100% opacity. So I'll turn this on. But look at the difference. The colors are great. The dehazing did a fantastic job. I'll tell you what. I'm totally impressed. Again, here is... ACR, and here is Clearview. I'm casting my vote for Clearview. Let me know what you think. Now, just to be fair, let me shut off the Clearview layer, and let me double-click the Camera Raw filter, and let's ease back on that dehazing a little bit, just till that funkiness goes away. To right here, and click OK. Now, this is ACR dehaze, and here is Clearview. Big difference. I mean, Clearview has totally got rid of that haze, and it still has a nice foggy look, but we're seeing a lot more detail. And now let's move on to this image. Now, I chose this image because it's got some nice detail here in the sand. We're not seeing a whole lot of detail. We've got some people here in some buildings. Let's see how these dehazing filters work with detail, because dehazing filters can pop detail in images too. But let's start out with the ACR filter. So let's come up here to filter and launch camera off filter and now let's add some dehazing to this and definitely notice the sand first because you'll see some details start to come out as I start to drag this you see that let's keep dragging it but notice what's happening to the sky this sky is getting super blue and it's getting some halos around here I'm going to drag it the whole way to the right see those halos up in there so let me drag it back just till the halos kind of go away right around uh, right around 70. Let's click OK. Now here is the before and here is the after. It's definitely brought out some detail, but I don't like what it has done to the sky here. And I wish I could get some more detail out of this sand. And in the, uh, I guess you call these tunics on these gentlemen right here. Let's see if we can pop some more detail out of there. Let's see what Clearview can do. I'll click on this Clearview layer to make it active and turn it on. And now let's launch Color Effects Pro 5. And now let's see what Clearview can do. So let's take the intensity and start to drag it to the right. 
Wow, look at that. Look at the sky. The sky is not turning that really blue color. I'm going to drag it the whole way to the right just to go to the extreme because look at the nice detail that's coming out here. And also in the tunics here, we're getting a lot of detail here. Let me shut this off and notice the sand and the tunics and even the camels. Let's turn it back on. But look at that nice detail. And it doesn't look overdone. I actually like it up at 100%. Let me go ahead and click apply and we'll compare the two now. Let me shut both of these layers off. There's the original. Here is ACR. All right, and now let's compare Clearview. What a difference. I love how it handled the colors and the detail. I think I'm getting a lot more detail. Again, here's ACR. And now here is Clearview. I really like the result. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. So you don't only have to use this on images with haze and fog. You can use it to pop a little bit of detail and some contrast too. Now this is my final example, but I want to show you that Clearview lives in Silver Effects Pro 3 as well. Now this is a color image, believe it or not. If I come here and I made a uh, vibrance adjustment layer, I'm going to turn it on. You can see there's color in there, right? But you can see I have a whole lot of vibrance here and saturation. But then I went ahead and put a black and white adjustment layer below here. And I'm going to turn this on. And you can see it's black and white. And now this vibrance adjustment layer has no effect on it because it truly was a color image. But then I went ahead and stamped it together as a layer and called it ACR Dehaze. Turned it into a smart object. Now I'm going to turn it on. But we're going to start out first by clicking on this layer. We're going to send it into Camera Raw and try the dehaze filter on it. So let's come up here to Filter and Camera Raw Filter. And let's go ahead so we can make a comparison. And we're going to go ahead and bump up dehazing. We'll bump it up a good bit here. See if we can get some detail and contrast out of here. And also some dehazing as well. So we can see some of the detail back in the mountain here and in the sky. Let's go ahead and click OK. Now take a look. Here is the before and here's the after. And it brought a lot of nice detail out here in the sky, up in the clouds. And not bad, but can Clearview do better? We'll find out. Let's make this Silver Effects Pro 3 layer active by clicking on it. And now we're going to turn it on. Now remember, there is color in this image. We're going to convert it to just a basic black and white image in Silver Effects Pro 3. So we're going to come here and launch Silver Effects Pro 3 by clicking right here. Now I'm just going to use the default setting because I just use the basic default black and white in Photoshop. So I want to get a better comparison. So let me come down to Clearview. Now you're going to find Clearview lives right under Tonality Protection. See it right here, Clearview? And it's on, but it's shut off. Let's go ahead and start to drag it to the right and see what kind of result we can get. I'm going to take it up a good bit to maybe somewhere right about there. And that's all I'm going to do. We're going to click Apply, and we're going to make a comparison. So now, this is Silver Effects Pro 3, just a basic black and white conversion. I'm going to shut it off, and we're going to compare it to ACR. But before I do that, let's look at the original image. This is what it originally looks like. And now here is what it looks like with Adobe Camera Raw's filter dehaze. So let me turn this on. So that's the Adobe Camera Raw filter. And now here is Silver Effects Pro 3 using the Clearview filter and a basic black and white conversion. So there it is with that Clearview versus the black and white conversion with Photoshop's dehaze. And again, I will tell you, no contest here. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Again, I really want to hear from everybody out there because I think this filter is phenomenal, this Clearview filter. And I think it's one that a lot of people don't use as much as they should be. This is something you could almost try in every image that you have. And sometimes just a little bit of it goes a long way. Well, there it is, everyone. Clearview found in Nick Color Effects Pro 5 as well as Nick Silver Effects Pro 3. Give it a try. I love this filter. I think it does a fantastic job. I don't know any other dehazing type filter that works quite as well as this one. If you enjoyed this tutorial today, 
please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification. Every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Cully. And I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.